Hello everyone, uh, my name is Martin Tale, founder member of Damonde Foundation. Uh, today we, we still continue with the voter education project. Uh, we're looking at a topic here, voter suppression, which is also very important concerning elections. Uh, people need to know what goes on here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, voter uh, suppression in Zambia. So, um, what is voter of, uh, suppression? Voter suppression is a strategy used uh, to influence the outcome of elections by discouraging or preventing specific groups of people from voting. Voter suppression is a strategy used to influence the outcome of elections by discouraging or preventing specific groups of people from voting. That's uh, in, a in a nutshell. But uh, there are some few tactics used in voter suppression. The, that ranges from minor changes to make voting less convenient, to physically intimidating and physically attacking prospective voters, which is illegal. You've seen some of these things happening in Zambia, where when there's a by-election, where there are general elections, there's a lot of intimidation. People kill each other. Uh, which shouldn't be the case when it comes to people who understand uh, there is no need for people to kill each other over the elections. It's just a matter of understanding what goes on, what you should do and how you should respond to this. So remember that uh, voter suppression is illegal. Um, for you, if we can ask this question, is there, is there voter suppression for you? Of course, voter suppression uh, concerns allegations about various efforts, legal and illegal, used to prevent eligible voters from exercising their rights to vote. Voter suppression vary. Like I have just outlined earlier in the beginning, I talked about how it varies, it ranges from to. So we have to be aware of this thing that happened, uh, we shouldn't be moved by the mob psychology. We have to start understanding things. Why do voters get paged? Voters caging may thus be legal if primary purpose is to identify those who are not properly registered to vote and then to prevent them from voting illegally. But not if the primary purpose is to disfranchise legitimately registered voters on the basis of technicality. That is wrong. How is uh, voter suppression legal? Voter suppression can be effective if significant number of voters are intimidated or disfranchised. You see, so all this we have to be aware and know exactly what is going on here. Um, what is voter disfranchisement? This is the revocation of the right to vote of a person or group of people or through practices preventing of a person exercising the right to vote. I guess now maybe we're able to start to understanding when you are being put in a specific group or you group them, the people are trying to intimidate you so that you can't vote. That is one of the elements that we have to start understanding so that we start rebelling and speaking out negatively of such kind of activities. How do we report voter suppression? It's very important to look at that. If you witness or suspect voter intimidation or suppression, there are three ways you can report it. Contact your traditional election office. Contact the voting section of Civil Rights Division. Use the election complaint report. Usually all these things are available. It's just a matter of asking who can help you to do all that kind of uh, provide information for you. What causes voter apathy? You know, voter, uh, you know one of them could be voter fatigue describes a possible cause of voter apathy. Elections that are held too frequently. Political alienation may be confused with the voter apathy. 
Sometimes alienated voters do care about an election, but few disinfected from the system or somehow left out on a political process. You know, so all that. What are the major influence on voting behavior? Moreover, key public influences include the role of emotions, political socialization, tolerance uh, of diversity of political views and the media. These influence uh, the voting behavior, you know. But, but what are the barriers to political participation? One, if we look at education, without information and knowledge, meaningful participation in politics can be difficult. Then if you look at social isolation, there is a limited network to support and encourage political participation. Uh, if we look at personal factors, people may have limited confidence or motivation to participate. If you look at poverty poor, you see people are mostly on survival, you know, active survival activities. Their basic needs be made face before they can participate in politics. So these are some of the barriers to political participation. What is voter role? Also known as register, uh, a register or poll book is a list of persons who are eligible to vote in a particular electoral district or who are registered to vote. That is what we call voter roll. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll continue this program to help you understand what is going on in politics in terms of elections. We will embark on this project from now until we feel we've exhausted the topic. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can just follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.